in step one, we're going to name. We're going to conduct a two-sample z-test for the difference between the proportion of men that have a college degree and the proportion of women that have a college degree. Now, it's super important that when you use symbols and significance tests that you define what those symbols represent. So we do have to make sure that we write down that P sub M is the proportion of men with a college degree and P sub W is the proportion of women with a college degree. Now, what we also need in step one is our hypotheses. Now, the null hypothesis is that there is no difference. We assume there is absolutely no difference, and we can write that two ways. If there's no difference, we could say that the proportion of men minus the proportion of women equals zero, right? Because if there's no difference, no difference means that there is no difference, zero. And then the alternative would be, well, we want to show evidence, or we hope to show evidence, that there is, in fact, a difference. So that would be that the proportion of M minus the proportion of W does not equal zero. Now, we don't necessarily care that men are more or women are less. The question never said that. It could have, and then that could allow us to use a greater than sign or less than sign. But what we care about is simply, is there a difference? You know, if these are different, we're going to get a non-zero difference. That is for sure. So name the tests, define the parameters that you're talking about in the problem, and then don't forget that null and the alternative hypothesis.